Hello everyone, I'm Susanna Playstead, Architect Evangelist here at Salesforce, and I'm so excited to welcome you to the first installment of a new video series that's going to help break down the concepts from Salesforce Well Architected. But what exactly is Salesforce Well Architected? Let's get into it. Salesforce Well Architected is a framework that contains prescriptive guidance that you can use to step through your architectural thinking. It also contains patterns and anti-patterns that you can look out for in your org. And we put all of this together with the help of internal product experts, folks in our engineering teams, and also thought leaders in the ecosystem. And we did this because we want to make sure that everyone who's building architectures with Salesforce products knows what a healthy solution looks like and also knows where to spend their time. And now some of you might be thinking that you've heard the term well-architected before. And there's a good reason for that. The concept of a well-architected framework is not a new thing. In fact, AWS established the first well-architected framework back in 2015, and the other cloud substrates followed suit. What all of these frameworks do is provide best practices and guidance on how to design and deploy workloads on these platforms. Similar to other well-architected frameworks, Salesforce Well-Architected provides guidance for architects in the form of white papers. But Salesforce is a little bit different from these other platforms, and so our version of Well-Architected is a little bit different too. Salesforce Well-Architected can be found on architect.salesforce.com, and all of the information is structured around the concepts of trusted, easy, and adaptable. Now everything in Salesforce Well-Architected is in priority order, so let's go ahead and open up Trusted, the most important aspect of a healthy Salesforce solution. Here in Trusted, I can get an overview of this topic and I can also see where I need to focus my time as an architect. Let's open up the secure white paper. You can see right away that this is a pretty dense document. It's about a 30 minute read. Luckily, all of the well-architected white papers follow a very similar format. So once you get the hang of reading one, you can easily navigate the others and hop in and get the information that you need. Right away, I can see that the secure white paper has three main topics, organizational security, session security, and data security. And within these topics, there are key focus areas where I should be spending my time as an architect. For each of these topic areas, there's a table of patterns and anti-patterns that you can use to help compare what's happening in your documentation or in your org to see if you should keep doing what you're doing or if you should reassess some of your choices. At the end of each white paper, there's also three resources I wanna call your attention to. The first is relevant tools. Now this table goes into detail about the actual features that you can leverage within Salesforce to help improve, in this case, the security of your solution. And everything in this relevant tools section maps back to the key topics that we just looked at. The second resource that you'll find in each of the well-architected white papers is this relevant resources section. Now this is a list of documentation that you can use to better understand core concepts and documentation you can use to implement what you've learned. Last, but definitely not least, we have a feedback section at the bottom of each of the well-architected white papers. So don't hesitate to let us know what you think. Okay, so there is a ton of content to explore in Salesforce Well-Architected. Stumped on where to get started? You can always head on over to architect.salesforce.com and explore the white papers on your own or you can stay tuned to this very channel where we'll be breaking down the key concepts of Salesforce Well Architected in fun bite-sized videos. So be sure to like, subscribe, and of course, ring that bell so you don't miss any of our new videos. And with that, I hope to see you back here very soon.